This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing interactive. If you'd like to follow along, go into the file menu to open, and in the sample files folder, scroll down to 1606, animating your layout, and just click open. The idea of animating an existing layout is really pretty cool. Some of the objects in this layout have already been animated. They're easy to recognize because all of those objects have an animation icon in the lower right. If I select any one of these objects, it has a motion path for the object to travel along in its animation. Well, why don't we see what this animation looks like so far? The panel that we need to preview the animation is not open in the Digital Publishing workspace. So let's go under our window menu to Interactive to SWF Preview. We're going to make this panel a lot bigger so we can see better what's going on. Let me just click and drag from the lower right hand corner of the panel and click Play Preview again. And it's going to generate a quick flash preview. Why don't we get our SWF preview panel out of the way and animate the rest of the objects. I'm going to start with this object in the lower left hand corner and go to my animation panel. It's giving me the name of the object which happens to be the name of the image that's in the graphic frame and I need to choose some sort of a starting point, a preset. So I'm going to click on the double arrows and choose Fly In From Right. And you can see that it's already adding a motion path. And it's actually previewing what it's going to do. It's going to kind of fade in and travel across the page from right to left. Let me get my animation panel out of the way. How can I make the motion path a lot longer? In order to select part of an object, like the motion path, I need to go to my direct selection tool. And then just click on the motion path to select just that. If I click on the end point, I can make it longer and make it go right off the page. Let me go back to my selection tool and select the object. How do I know if it's really going right off the page? Well, what I could do is click this little button, Show Animation Proxy, down the lower left hand corner of the animation panel. And let me get my panel out of the way, and you can see the object is actually starting off of the page. So that's good. Let's go back to the animation panel and click on the center bottom object. And we're going to choose another preset. How about Fly In from Top? And you can see. The proxy is letting me know that the motion path needs to be longer. But let's look at some of the other settings here. How long is the animation going to be? How many times is it going to play? Is it going to loop again and again? What's the speed? Well, it's getting it from the preset. I could also choose one of these, ease in, ease out, ease in and out, or none. If you're not seeing these properties, click on the Properties Disclosure Arrow, and you can animate to a current location, to a current appearance, or from a current appearance. So there's a lot of choices here to do some very custom animation. I could also rotate the object as it's animating. I could scale it. I could fade it in. I could fade it out or just have it on so it doesn't fade in or out at all. Visibility, I could hide the object until it's animated. Well, in this case, because it's starting off the page, I don't need to do that. I could hide an object after animating it. Not what I want to do with this either. So let me go to my direct selection tool and click on the endpoint of my motion path and then click again and drag it right off of my page, going straight up. Let me go back to my selection tool to select the entire object. Definitely is going all the way off the page. I can't see the proxy at all. Let me go to my last object. I want that to fly in from the left with all of the same 
settings as the other object. So I'm going to choose from the preset fly in from left. And once again, you can see the proxy is not off the page. So I want to click with my direct selection tool on just the motion path to select it and then click again to select the endpoint of the path and just drag it off the page. I'm going to go back to my selection tool and select the entire object and you can see now it is starting off the page. Well, let's preview to see how this looks. I'm going to open my SWF preview and let's just see what happens. Let me click the preview button to start the animation. Kind of nice. There's only one thing that I'd like to change. The order of the second and third objects to come on seems backwards to me. Let me click my play preview button again and you'll see what I mean. I really wanted the second object, this one, to come on second. But how can I fix that? Let me close my preview panel and go to something called my timing panel. And this is all of the animation that's happening on the page. And for my third object to animate second, I need to move it up. Now let's preview it again to see if it's actually working. I'm going to click preview spread and it opens the SWF preview panel and automatically generates a flash animation. Well, that is a lot better. I like that a lot. Why don't we close the panel again and let's try something else. What would happen if I selected several of these objects at the same time by clicking on the first and then holding down my control key and selecting a couple of more? I can group that animation to play together. Let me click play together. You can see they're now linked together. Let me do the same thing with the second row. And let's preview that. Oh, that is really cool. There's one more thing I want to do. Let's get the preview panel out of the way again. And why don't we select all of our objects? I'm just going to click and drag with my selection tool across all six images. Let me scroll down just a little bit here. I want to group these images. I'm going to go to Object Group. Now, as a group, I can actually animate the group. So I could do additional animation to the same objects. Let me go to my animation panel and see what I want to apply to the group as a preset. Let me click down on the Choose pop-up menu next to the preset, and I'm going to choose something called Pulse. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that preview. Let's see what that's actually going to look like. I'm going to hit the Preview button in the lower left-hand corner of the animation panel, and it's going to generate a flash preview of what we just did. Well, that is really cool, and it was really easy. In the next lesson, we're going to continue discussing interactive.